heating season and today I want to show you how I made my heating system smart with Z-Wave and the Raspberry module as a Z-Wave gateway and the open source software from Z-Wave. So I basically have here my Raspberry Pi user interface. So this is a open source software made by Z-Wave Me and it is running on my Raspberry Pi. Additionally, I have a so-called Raspberry, which is the Z-Wave antenna, which is also manufactured and um, provided by Z-Wave Me. And now, because it's getting cold outside, um, I want to show you how I realized my little he heating system in my apartment here. So for that, for the beginning, um, I will show you what different states I use here in my apartment. So I have basically three different states. I have the night, I have the vacation, and I have the presence. So currently I'm present at home, so this is turned on. When I leave the home, I will switch that off automatically, or I will use a button or something else to switch that off. So these um, so-called status or global status um, icons, I use also for the heating system. Um, but before we start off with the application, so this um, solution works with application where you just download a heating controller or a heating scene and then you put in your devices and then uh, that is running for your system. Before we start, I want to uh, show you what kind of thermostats I use. So now I will go into my so-called living room. In German, it's Wohnzimmer. And here in the Wohnzimmer, um, I have my thermostats. So I have some kind of thermostats here. As you can see, I have um, some temperature sensors, which is this one, this one, and this one. These are all temperature sensors, but they're all in different places. So the first one is my thermostat controller. That is actually this device here, which you can see. It's mounted to the wall, and here I can, yeah, turn over this wheel, change the temperature to the yeah wanted temperature, the wish temperature. So for example, if it's too cold, I can switch it to 22 or to 23 now, and temperature will also switch, turn um, around in my user interface. And then this temperature will be, um, will be transmitted to my Z-Wave thermostats. So currently, I'm using the Eurotronic thermostats, which are completely new. The so-called Eurotronic Spirit are completely new, and they have this nice additional feature that they use the so-called FLIRs. So um, they react immediately to my commands I send over C-Wave. So other thermostat controllers or other radiator wells, they usually take some time to react because they have a wake up time when they are battery powered. But these ones, they use flares, so they react immediately. So now I can see that the temperature actually changed from 21 to 24. And um, I do not control them single, singularly, I control them all by my thermostat controller, which is installed to the wall. Um, furthermore, I have a really nice um, application here. It's from Inchart, and here I can see my complete graph about the temperature on that thermostat. So here I see, wow, um, there's quite a big change and it was sometimes really cold, only 15 degrees at night or in the morning. So I can really see the temperature changes here at my um, thermostats. And now I want to show you how I made this application that I have my controller and that my controller is connected with my two thermostats. For that, I will go on my active apps and in my active apps, I have the so-called association. And here, um, I have one association, which is a thermostat controller. And this one is associated to my two thermostats, which are yeah, on my heating panels. And now, I control those two devices with my thermostat controller. So I don't have to go to, to the thermostats and switch them manually. I just control them over that one device, which is here. You can see it here, how the temperature is changing in my controller and then it's um, transmitted to the radiator valves. Yeah, so this is the first step. Second step I did is um, I downloaded the so-called um, heating controller or thermostat controller, that's that one. And this is actually a nice application for just realizing a pretty smart and simple heating plan. So first I choose the temperature unit, it's Celsius and then I choose a default set point. So every time there is no scheduler set, it will go to this set point. So I will basically choose 
17 degrees, which is like an energy saving temperature. Um, now I will set the temperature limit. Um, maximum temperature should be 24 or maybe 23, something around that. Everything above is crazy. It's too hot. Minimum, um, I would go for also 17. That's fine. So during night, it can go down to 17. And now I set a schedule. So um, first, um, I use the mode when I'm home. So for this, I need my presence icons. Remember, from the, from the beginning, I used the presence icons. So I need them now. Home. And then I take the time from when to when is valid. So from home, um, let's say six in the morning or seven in the morning. And until like eight in the morning. So this is a time when I wake up. Um, so from seven to eight, let's take actually, let's take six, 15. And then I leave the house at the apartment, yeah, around 7.45. That makes more sense. So, and I want to use set point mode, which you want to use. If you use relative, you have to calculate. So I want to use absolute. So I choose absolute set point for the morning because when I wake up, I want to have it warm. I take 22 degrees. And now I list the zone. So I also need a zone as well. So first I have my home. This is for every zone. So when I have a zone, um, so-called, let's say a uh, bathroom and I have a living room, then this will be, um, yeah, the global zone. It will still apply to every zone. Now I can make a specific one. So now um, I want to make a specific one for my living room or for the dining room. So in the morning when I want to eat my breakfast, I want to have it very warm. So I put it down to 23 and here I minimum I can choose 17. And um, my thermostat I can choose here. And here I have my thermostat left and thermostat right. And here I set my schedule. So that's the own schedule for this room. This schedule will actually override the schedule over here. So this is the global one. This will apply to all rooms and to all thermostats which don't have a zone schedule. So now I have a zone schedule for this specific thermostat for my living room. And here I will pick um, home when I'm at home from when um, first I say that one in the morning, which was this one here so i will use the same as i did above but what i do here is i will check this out also 22 and i will here um leave the house oh so what did i mess it up i will just type it in which goes way faster and so here we go absolute and now I can set other schedules as well. So of course, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, I'm at that time in my living room or my dining room. But now I'm also coming back home. So home, um, when I'm at home, it should go when I'm at home around about um, 5 p.m. That's a German 5 p.m. And it will stay until 22, so that's 10 p.m. And this will apply to all my working days. So from that time period, I will set another set point. It should be warm during that time. So I said 21 degrees. So it's warm when I get at home. All right. So this is actually the, the schedules I had. So I have a global schedule, which I will probably change. Um, but I will leave it in like that now. Or I can also remove it. And then I have my two zone. I have my one zone. The zone is uh, my living room. So um, I have maximum set point, a minimum set point. I have the two thermostats, which are in that zone. And when I'm at home, when the icon is set to home in the morning from 6.45 to 7.45, it will heat to 22 degrees. After that, it will go back to 17 degrees. So it will go back to this default set point because there is no schedule for the time after 7.45. So that's very neat that I don't have to set another time period for the time I'm not at home. And then I have a second one 
which is from um, 5 to 10 p.m. And this one will also go to 21. So I have three frames or four frames from 6 45 to 7, 45, 22. Then it will go back to the default set point with the 17. And then when I'm at home, it will go to 5. From 5 to 10, it will go to 21 degrees. And after 10 p.m., it will go back to 17 degrees and stays until that time here. So that's my heating schedule. And that's how easy it is to realize a heating schedule here in my um, system. Yeah, so that's it so far. Um, I want to show you something else in another video, but for now, because it's getting cold, uh, you should check out those new thermostats by Eurotronic, which are pretty neat. And uh, also the latest update of the smart home user interface. It has been some pretty new features has, have been added and you can now drag and drop the icons. This has been completely new in the past. You were not able to use that in the Z-Wave Me software, but now there have some pretty have been some pretty nice changes.